Our work in reinventing fire was to develop a whole systems view of what's possible for the U.S. electricity system. And what we learn is that electricity is an important enabler of change in buildings, in transportation, and in industry. So the changes we make in electricity are probably the most important leverage point for shifting the U.S. economy as a whole. Electricity generation accounts for about 40% of total U.S. carbon emissions. So it's a huge share. It's probably the single most important sector for us to work on to meet long-term climate goals. It's also true that uh, emissions from coal-fired electricity generation cause several times the economic damage to the economy, largely in terms of health implications. We can see a transition to an electricity system built 80% on renewable electricity. And once we do that, we have the foundation for a transformation of the whole U.S. energy system. Ultimately, when you look at our aging infrastructure, we need to replace it almost all by 2050. So we can kind of consider it to be a clean slate. What do we want from our electricity system? The electricity system will require at least $2 trillion of investment over the next two decades. If we make those investments incrementally, piece by piece, based on the existing paradigm, we'll wind up with a system 20, 30 years from now that's not much different from today's system. It's not going to be easy. There are a number of barriers that are getting in the way. There are some technical barriers, which really just stem from the fact that renewables, especially distributed renewables like rooftop solar or electric vehicles, are new types of technologies. And figuring out how to integrate high, high levels of those resources into the grid is new and tricky. One of the challenges is that uh, renewables, especially distributed renewables, have different types of costs and values to the electricity system. So the regulations that govern the system, the business models that the utilities and, and others have who operate within that system are designed for centralized resources. All of the important stakeholders, the utilities, the solar companies, the customers, the regulators, have to come together and co-develop solutions that can really move the system forward. The great part about where we stand now within the electricity system is the amount of technological innovation that has taken place. There are a variety of opportunities from reduction in cost of renewables to new technologies for enabling customers who have usually been on the receiving end to actually be providing service and optimizing the system in the most cost-effective way. Today's customer might have a smart meter on the side of her house, an electric vehicle charging in the garage, a solar system on the roof. All of those assets at the residential level, at the commercial and industrial level, mean a much more dynamic system and set of interactions between customers and the electric system or the electric grid. But the next stage really requires a better level of integration into the utilities incentives of all of those opportunities on the customer side that can bring us a more efficient and a cleaner system. And one of the ways that we're doing that is by really trying to change the rules of the game. We think it's really critical to work with regulators, with utilities, with uh, solar companies and smart grid companies to change the rules that govern the way the industry works to create a level playing field through which all types of resources and all types of actors can really compete fairly and ultimately move towards the most effective, efficient system. Because it's only by dialoguing together, by really digging into some of the issues that we can develop truly innovative solutions. And in doing so, we can really begin to understand what's going to work and how we improve solutions that ultimately can be deployed and expanded throughout the industry. It's interesting to see that these changes are beginning to unfold at the microcosm level, the level of a corporate campus, a military base, a university campus, a city. So it's at the distribution edge where technology is changing most rapidly. And it's also the point where investment may bring the most fundamental change to the character of the electricity system. That is bringing us opportunities and competition between distributed resources and the traditional large-scale centralized assets that have dominated the electricity system for most of its history. It's really important that we and others have some sense of where we're going. 
And that's one of the reasons why we wrote Reinventing Fire, was to begin to understand what an electricity system in 2050 looks like that meets our goals of affordability, of reliability, and of uh, environmental stewardship and security. We will have an electricity system that doesn't contribute to climate change, that doesn't produce pollutants that create asthma, that don't hurt our land and water systems. It would mean that we would have a system that was more resilient, where blackouts didn't cause the kind of economic hardship that they can now. We can create a system that creates more jobs and better jobs in clean technologies that results in community and economic renewal. And that's what we can achieve together if we can really begin to move towards the Reinventing Fire vision. And that's what we're trying to do at RMI. Thank you.